Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing another charcoal video of how to make your own charcoal for free. It's a very simple process called pyrolysis in which we are cooking wood or heating it up and depriving it of oxygen. So it's going to burn off all the wood gases and impurities and it's going to leave us left with pure carbon or pure charcoal. So if you want to learn how to make your own charcoal for free, please watch the video and stay tuned. <laughs> first charcoal video we use this small tin can that I use just over the campfire just to show you guys the simple process of pyrolysis uh, today we're doing a part two video since the first video had gained so much attention and uh, comments and interest so we're doing a part two video with the 55 gallon burn barrel and I have two bigger stacks of cans so I'm gonna show you guys how to make more charcoal and get more yield for your charcoal if you want to see the first video I encourage you just to use a small can uh, just to understand the process and try it out for yourself if you want to make more charcoal uh, this is the process that we're doing today. So I actually have the tin can that we used in the first video with charcoal left over in it that I didn't realize was sitting up there. It's been sitting underneath the grill so water got to it and it rusted. But we're actually gonna use this to put this at the bottom of the burn barrel just to lift the, the other two cans that I have on top of it. And we're also gonna use the charcoal that's left in here to kind of start our burn barrel here. All right, so these are the two tin cans that we're gonna be using to make our charcoal. We're gonna put the wood inside these and then stack these on top of each other inside the burn barrel uh, to make our charcoal. This first can is just an old paint can that was empty. I think it's a six gallon paint can. Um, and I went ahead and emptied it and burned off the excess residue that was in the inside so it's completely clean. I did cut off the lid as well, which is not a perfect fit um, because the tin warped a little bit, but that'll be all right. So just kind of wedge it in there. And then what I'm gonna do is stack this one on top of this one, again, inside the burn barrel. The only other thing that we need to do besides add wood to these, um, I'm going to go ahead and put four small holes on the bottom part of these. That way the wood gases uh, can expel out and they will burn with the fire and kind of help the fire keep going. Um, as opposed to the first video that I had where we had the tin can and it had the hole on top. I put that on there so you guys could see the wood gases catch on fire and them expel and escape. But we're going to put these on the bottom again so it will kind of help with the fire and keep the fire going. All right, so we have our four holes on the bottom of this can. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same with this next can. Since this one does not have a good seal on the top of it, I'm probably gonna put two holes on the bottom because the gases can still expel out of the top. Um, so I don't think we'll need that many on the bottom and it's gonna be at the bottom of the barrel. Also this big hole in the top, I'm gonna cover that with the tin can that's sitting on top of that. So that'll cover the hole just fine. All right, so we have our four holes drilled on the bottom of this can and then our two holes on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these with wood. All right, so if you could tell by the weight of this one, I pretty much already had wood stacked in here. Um, I don't have wood stacked in this one just yet, but we're pretty much gonna do the same process. All right, so this one is almost full to the top. So we're gonna go ahead and add these little pieces just to cover in the gaps or to fill in the gaps. can put the bark as well as the wood in there as well it's just going to become pure carbon and pure charcoal anyway now for this can I think that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to put in because I'm gonna have to finagle with this lid a little bit to try and get it secure so that'll be it for that can and we'll fill up the next can by the way you do not have to cut up the wood as much as I did on um, these small chunks you can actually put full pieces in there because once they become charcoal you're gonna be able to break it up a lot easier anyway so there's really no reason to waste your time doing that I just had a bunch of this laying around all right so we have this one pretty much full just as one last note if you are planning on cooking with this and making charcoal to cook if the wood has any paint or chemicals on it I want to advise you using that for charcoal it will probably burn off all the impurities of it but I just want to take a chance all right so let's go ahead and put the lid on that and then we'll go ahead and get ready to put it in the burn barrel also, before I put the containers in, I'm gonna go ahead and use some old sticks that I have laying around and kind of layer the sides around the tins where the tins are gonna be uh, so we can get the fire started around all sides of the can. Go 
All right, so it might be a little hard to see with the smoke, but I do have sticks lined up all around the edge so we can get fire going on all sides of the can. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the cans in the middle of the burn barrel. So I have the two cans ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put these inside on the middle. All right, now I have both cans stacked in the middle of the barrel. We're gonna go ahead and get the fire going on all sides. And I'll bring you back in just a second. All right, so we have the fire around the cans on all four sides, so we'll go ahead and let that burn down for a few hours. Depending on what kind of wood you used in your burn barrel and how much uh, varies on the time for it to cool off. Usually it should take about four or five hours, but if you want, you can let it sit out overnight as well. Heading back outside to check on the charcoal in the burn barrels. It's snowing like crazy. It just started dumping the last hour or so, so snow everywhere. All right, so we'll go ahead and check those and get right back into the video. Well, Alright guys, it's been about four hours now since we had started the barrel and put the cans in to make our charcoal. As you can see in the last hour or so, it started snowing like crazy. So I went ahead and took these off. They look like they pretty much cooled off for the most part. Um, I know this one was for sure. This one was still glowing a little bit red on top. And I know it's because that lid wasn't completely sealed. So I went ahead and tipped it upside down and sealed it off to deprive it of oxygen. Um, so I would definitely go with one that has a closed lid to it. Just remember the way to make charcoal is to heat it up if it's glowing red then that means it's getting too much oxygen and that that charcoal will burn up so you want to deprive it of oxygen completely but these should be done so i'm getting ready to open these up and see what they look like all right so here's our first barrel get it open as you can see it's all charcoal these pieces, like I was telling you, no matter how big they are, you can still break them up, it's still charcoal. Completely black. So we got almost a full bin there of lump charcoal. That one's kind of spilling on me. That one's about half full. Like I said, I think a lot of it burnt up because that lid wasn't sealed all the way. As you can see with the gray ash. But we still have a full bin of charcoal here as well. So I'm gonna put these up in the shed so they stay dry. And we'll use those next time we cook out. All right, guys, that sums it up for the charcoal video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll definitely have more coming soon. If you are a beginner and want to learn the process of pyrolysis, uh, I encourage you to go ahead and take a small can and just try it over your campfire and just try and make charcoal for yourself at home. You just need a metal can with a metal lid um, and then maybe a hole or two in the side or in the top. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.